G'day and welcome to the front is I'm Execute. Today I'm joined by Algrid and Astro Pub. And hopefully today the sound doesn't stuff up like yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was, believe, believe it or not, people, I was on the last one. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did actually go through and, and, and picked out like things that I remembered you and uh, Cyrus had said. And be honest, let's be so it's a lot worse for Osiris because he only appears once every six months. He is on a one yep. more yeah. uh, this week, but uh, I just felt really bad. But because you guys had gone about half an hour beforehand, so I just had to go solo. It was, it was terrible. Yeah. And, and Execute did, because uh, I, I did watch the stream when I, I saw it, and, and he did say we actually recorded with Osiris and, and Astro, but um, due to sound being stuffed up, I've had to re-record and... Mm go solo because you guys weren't there so he, he did try to pick, pick in things you guys had said but yeah yeah it was really funny though because the original episode was like 33 minutes and i seemed to smash it out in about 10 minutes on my own so it really does every person you add uh makes it that much more longer so it was interesting to see but i do talk faster too so yeah all right so today is obviously uh god i gotta remember now uh robert space industries argo origin and Sinu. did i get that right yeah that is right um, yes, you know you. Yeah, so I think we'll kick it off with the Scorpius because that's going to be the really big uh, takeaway for today. And of course, I closed it earlier because I'm an idiot. So, what's your guys' thoughts on the Scorpius? Algrid, we'll start with you. Just kick it off. Tell me what you feel. What, 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 you, what well, you feeling? I like it. And when we were flying it, it was it was a fun ship to be a, a gunner in. Mm -hmm. um, it does have that X-wing um, Star Fury feel, which I like. Um, I get the feel, my, my, my sense was that as a gunner, you end up being more focused in supporting the pilot, whereas in the Hurricane, you tend to be, the pilot tends to be more supporting you. So a different dynamic. I'd agree with but that. But I like it. I'd agree with that. That, 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 that. that is, especially what you mentioned there about you're supporting the pilot rather than the other way around. I, I totally agree mm. with that. Yeah, it does feel different in that regard, which is cool that it does that. Paul, your thoughts? Mm. Please, mate. Have you flown uh, it yet? Don't Paul? go melt. Have you, I have. You don't have? go melt. Don't don't go melt your 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 hurricanes for it. I'll just say that if you exactly. if you like the DPS of the hurricane, the hurricane is going to absolutely dominate compared to this. Yeah. Um. But I was. If you want a sh was, if you want a ship that is absolutely like freaking hardcore, then yeah, the Scorpius is it's it, the difference between the hurricane and the Scorpius is that the hurricane is designed to just. TKO anything it hits. The Scorpius is designed to like two or three of these to, just to wipe out oh. smaller ships. Like the, the the Scorpius punches down while the while the Hurricane punches up. So I'd agree with that. Um, yep. I was talking to uh, wasn't talking. Sorry, I was listening to uh, Moist Noodle uh, as he was analyzing it as he was flying it, and that's literally what he said. He said the Hurricane is the better ship, and it's the other thing is now is it's forty five dollars cheaper. Um, mm -hmm. So they are definitely selling this on Rule of Cool with the X-Wing factor. Um, it's it's an X-Wing. It's yeah. not an X-Wing, but it's an X-Wing. Yeah. Yeah. You know? why, why does it need to have a turret where R2-D2 would mm -hmm. sit? Yeah. So this I can is, say, it's not an X-Wing. Th this is one of those... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is, actually, I just didn't think of that until you said that. I agree. That is where the turret sits, exactly where R2-D2 yeah. is. Um, it's T -I -T the, the T I N. X W. Mm. This is not an X-wing ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it should be called. T I N X W. Yeah. So I, I think this is one of those instances where it looks cool, but it's not as cool as the one that doesn't look cool type of thing. So yeah, looks are not everything in this game, uh, and I, and I think you'd both agree with that one. Um, man, I don't know who ever set up this image transferring thing, but it's way too fast. As far as people don't get mm -hmm. whiplash trying to look at the images. Um, yep. the, the other thing I will point out, though, there is a special offer um, that actually gives you the original price, so you can actually get the Warbond offer. Um, and I'm going to click one of these and get the wrong one. Yes, I did get the wrong one. Um, so the recommendation for me, and I'm sure you guys would agree with me, is the Corsair to the Scorpius for the discounted Warbond CCU, because this is the only ship at $215. <laughs> so mm. it makes it an easy choice, because if you go to anything else, uh, it goes to a $10 CCU. If it's going to let me go to the list. No, it's not. It actually took me to the ship. You pan in the butt. Now I've got to do it all again. Uh, so I won't bother doing it all again. Uh, but yeah, mm. long, long, long story short, um, the other options there are, are all about uh, 210. There you go. Yeah. All right. Um, kicking it back to actual. Well, before, before we go, uh, it, it is a reminder. 
I do believe our ship giveaway put a comment in on the first video it has now ended because we're at. No, 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 no. It's um, not, not ending. I'm, oh, no, we're still going, I'm, we? I'm going to run that all the way to the end, Algrid. To all the, right, so change, the change the idea we were originally thinking of. Okay, yes. so don't oh. forget, leave a, go to that first video, watch the first video, like, subscribe, hit that hit bell, and Instagram. leave a comment in a chance for a, for a Legionnaire. <laughs> I think we'll do so, that here then, because we're also going to give away a Scorpius. Paul doesn't know this. So we're going to give away a Scorpius. Um, I think I'm going to change it up, though, slightly. This time, it's going to be the most upvoted comment in the comments. And you'll, you'll win Ooh. a Scorpius. So whoever has the most yeah. upvoted comment with the most votes on it will win themselves a Scorpius. That said, we are going to CCU chain it. We're also going to double use this. So we're going to CCU chain it from a mule to a Scorpius. And we're going to show how to apply CCUs. We'll do that in a video. So like, not very often do you actually yeah. get to apply CCUs and show how it's done. So we will use that to go from a mule to a Scorpius and show all the war bond CCUs along the way that we can. And we think that'll be a really good example. And then and obviously, we'll use, and we'll use the CCUs we can get from from this event, yeah. And, from this event, and and basically, yeah, we'll give the Scorpius away to someone. So yeah, uh, best comment. Obviously, if you're funny or something like that, more people are going to click it. Um, if it's a barrage, like more followers just just turns up, I'm going to kick him in the nuts and tell him no. So um, <laughs> the the other thing I will say is yeah. So it's a, a, the caveat is we have we can veto it, right? So basically, yes. yep. it, it, it's it, it it's genuine genuine most up votes yeah. right so, if, so we think, if, if we think there's funny business we will we will not you know we'll if say, it's just not, high and then like it's seven thousand up votes and no it's not gonna happen yeah so yeah. But so yeah so genuine like whoever has a genuine comment um might be someone that is uh misfortunate that doesn't you know maybe they plead their case i really need a scorpius you don't know so we'll see so yeah that'll be in this video and i really need a scorpius yeah see our could win yeah. paul could win it, it could be space tomato you never know um <laughs> i'll just say that'll also end at the at, that'll uh, pop up in the last video of um invictus on the final day and we're probably going to do I won't say what we're, we're going to do one more ship, but I won't tell you which it is, but I'm pretty sure you can guess. Uh, so we'll leave it for that. All right, moving on. Uh, RSI. The Apollo. Big one. Do you want to start, Paul, with Apollo? Sure. The Apollo is uh, one of those ships which um, is going to have a lot more meaning in the near future, but not right now. Its price is not bad for what it does because it's you're getting respawn beds at, you know, $250, which is mm. not a bad i bad idea um again it's nowhere near the value of the um uh, of the endeavor because the endeavor oh, hope is going to oh, hail it well the don't take this the wrong way but i'm just moving it because your fat head's in the way yeah, of the move, price move, i'm just yeah. i'm just gonna i want to cuddle you just, oh yeah oh, yeah yeah, oh. yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh algrid sat here go over here and give him a hug there we go there you go. You give okay. him a we'll just we'll just be very professional. Be yeah. Very professional. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right. I'll leave you over there. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. I'll be late. I don't. I don't, I don't need a daddy. I'm all good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, but I Yep. Yeah, it's it's not it's not the endeavor, but it's it's a good ship for what it's designed to do. Mm. I would not expect this to be like you're. I wouldn't really expect this to be. Uh, like hospital or like like a like an emergency uh transport situation mm -hmm. this is much more of a clinic this is something yep. you'd need to have for um with like a group of people mm -hmm. i wouldn't necessarily bank on the, using this for something like uh, a regular income for um you know like npcs showing up and you would you or something like would that. you Not yet would you classify it as a profession starter like some of those other ships I think they they would classify it as a profession starter. I don't know if I would, but because like the, the the Cutlass Red is more of the profession starter. Yeah, this. I would yeah. have thought the Cutlass Red was a okay. profession starter for yeah. here for mm -hmm. medical. Um, now our, um, now our grid, you and I were talking yeah. a little bit before the show. We and were, it, and it's um a little interesting. Ten dollars more than the Scorpius, and that, yeah. that was one of the things we were saying. Like like why would you want the Scorpius when you can get this? So yeah. And, ha and and literally have either two top tier beds or four middle tier beds or six, yep. be, be the equivalent of three cutlasses in terms of its first aid ability. So, um, and I I do love the look at it. it look, to me, that just has always been a cut down Connie. It's a a Connie Razia. It's just it just it's got the look. It's got the feel. It 
you can see RS, it oozes the RSI larger ship mm. aesthetic. Um, yeah, it just it just feels really nice. Um, it start, has a little bit of internal cargo. It'd be I could see this being a modular ship where they actually took those med bays out and added others later on. You know, yeah. different gave it different different purpose, but it is a yeah, it so, is one of my favourite ships, but. So triage or medivac? Because I, I still struggle to justify that twenty five bucks personally. I but... don't know what the medivac is for. Like I don't know what, what the difference is. Is just the skin? So, I, I can't so exactly missiles. It has extra missile hard points, and I think it's got a bit more armor, and that's it. it, yep. it it's not missiles, worth twenty five bucks. And a skin. You are you are not taking your 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 uh, expensive Apollo into the middle of a battlefield to rescue somebody. You're sending your your cheap ass uh, Cutlass Red to go pull some some poor sap out of the out of the the fi frying pan. You're you not going to throw that thing. You do know what's got like um uh what is it the the drone bed recovery thing? This is a recovery. Yeah, but this is a recovery. Bed. Push up it. Yeah, but it's it's like a recovery after the battle is over with, or after like yep. you know going to an area that's been secured. It, it's a it's more a search and rescue than yeah. I think the cutlass yeah. radius. Cutlass radius is literally your ambulance, you know. Mm. Yeah. This when you set this up, this this is kind of like a mash a mash unit, you know. That mm. it's yeah. The, the clinic you send them to before you before you send them off to the mm. the yeah. main hospital. It just shows you yeah. that you're not gonna. It's not worth that money. I yeah. don't think so. Not, that's not worth the armor and the missiles. Yeah. I just, yeah. I just found it really interesting how you got the Scorpius at 240 and that at 250, and there's just probably going to be so much more gameplay. Um, it just shows you that rule of cool factor really strongly there. Um, interestingly enough, the only Aurora is the LN, the only one. So they're finally actually Don't starting, start, finally started following their own law and and trimming the fat. We've been saying this for a few years, so it's actually good to see that they are actually starting to follow their own law. So, um, well, the LN is the military version. It is, the, it, exactly. and it, it's the best version of the Royal, but by by far. Um, again, you and I talked about this earlier in the year about how they do need to trim the fat on some of the um older ships. Like, there's what is there five or six different variants of the five Aurora's. Yeah, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and but that was them trying to show how the, the customizations of the ships and stuff yep. like that. But now I think they like this is the only one worth really buying. And, and certainly, certainly, like originally though those different things were the different hard points you could add later on but when they went the diff literal different versions yeah i think every every aurora is a totally different version because every mm. aurora has a different hard point at some point so usually it's the missile hard point or the mm. or the missile hard points you know so sorry or the or the gun hard point so yeah it's <laughs> it's one of those weird ships that you can see the origin of the of the way they are thinking and yet now it's just really yeah that said, though, for five dollars more, you can actually get the game with it. So never buy it solo mm. like that. Buy it with the game. Well, I would argue that uh, if you wanted okay. to get a hundred and twenty month, a hundred and twenty month insurance, which if you can't get LTI, it's not a bad a bad option. Mm. I mean, not with this sale because we don't know how much the Drake Mule is, but it's probably gonna be less than that. Um, well, the I mean, this, I'm expecting less than the Rock, and the Rock was fifty five. So, and they're roughly yeah. the same size. So I'm uh, uh, maybe yeah. maybe forty five would be possible yeah but the the like this is 120 month insurance so if you want to use that as a as a jumping off point because that insurance will carry with you and mm. for for those people who need a reminder 120 month insurance means 120 months of real time when they start it which is 10 years mm. so uh i don't know many many games that i've played for 10 years straight but you know <laughs> exactly. exactly last one i've done is lord of rings online and i've taken long hiatus in between yeah. at different mm. points so mm. that probably doesn't really count yeah he used to look like bobo and now he looks like gandalf that's how long he played it for uh <laughs> all right uh constellation andromeda can we wrap all four of these together or three there's only three um, of them there, there's four there's four no there is four there is the tourist, there is the tourist in there as well yeah so we can just go through the variants the um so I think the, the weird one for me, and I know Agra and Paul agree, is this is the luxury variant. I don't understand it why it's here on a military day. That's the one that I think that should have been cut. Um, and I think we could also argue at three hundred fifty dollars, it's very overpriced. Not worth it. Um, mm -hmm. it. Probably three. The three other versions, though, I think uh, are all very good. Um, and there goes my camera as usual, right on time. The the one thing with the phoenix is it was always supposed to be more up armored than the andromeda mm. yeah so it was supposed to have it's... more armor and better weapons than the andromeda yeah, and more slicing missiles than the andromeda but it, yeah it yeah. doesn't fit that 
that oh. line anymore. It's just. Oh, your thoughts on the uh, Constellation think... series? Uh, well, I will say that I think the Phoenix is also technically uses for VIP transports for like uh, mm. like mm. military personnel. So it's probably the reason why it's there. Okay. But in general, the Connie is the Connie. It's it, it it has the same weaknesses it's always had and the mm. same same strengths it's always had. Um, I don't. I, I would never purchase a Connie unless it's like a limited edition, just mm. because it's just not worth it. Buy it in game. It yeah. just, just you know if you're gonna I, use it. It's not game. in the not in the best spot. I'd agree with that. I agree. No. Your 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 uh, synopsis of all four Connies, mate. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a. Uh, I, I love the Connie. It was my very first ship, the Andromeda. But um, if I was looking at the Doing that kind of best bang for buck type thing, based certainly based on what prices I got them for. Um, I'd always look at the tor- uh, the uh, the Phoenix and the Aquila as being a better value, mm. mainly because they've got the P fifty two and the Ursa, or the the, yeah. the, the Phoenix as opposed to the the Lynx. I think more people that would kind of add. More people would go for the MSR now because it does almost everything it does, and it just does it better. Um, and yep. and you've got all the data running as well, so you, you kind of get yep. more and a physically smaller ship, and yeah, I don't know. But if, well, if you're interested, MSR in the Connie... was a bigger ship. Remember? No, it's remember a... when, when the MSR came out? We actually put them. I actually had them sitting above one sitting above a Connie, and it hid the Connie completely. Oh, they both. Nah, I, I think you're missing that up with the Hercules. They both. Um, they both sit on the same pad, exact same pad. Yes, but when we look when we did the size, not the the. The thing, the um, I don't... MSR was bigger because that blew us up. That blew that blew my mind. Okay, I don't remember um... it that way. All right, Paul, the Mantis, the first Star Trek looking ship coming from RSI. So yeah, I'm hoping this is what we get going forward, and I think we are moving okay. towards that. Um, this because well, you guys are both law guys, so you tell me if if I'm wrong here. I think out of all the manufacturers, a ship manufacturer that needs the most differentiating look and what i mean is from like like one ship has to look completely different from the other is rsi because they've been around the longest right so you, you've got to have yeah. something that looks really really old like the perseus and then it's something that looks really really new like the mantis or am i wrong in that regard yeah i agree generally speaking it also depends on which rsi branch is building them because there's mm. like three there's the there's the military branch there's the civilian branch and then i think there's like another experimental branch so like I wouldn't be surprised if RSI had a racer in the near future, and that racer was okay. completely different from any of the other looks. So I just sort of think. Cool. Uh, the thoughts yeah. on the Mantis is just generally the Mantis is the Mantis. It's mm. going. It's the only ship that does what it does. Period. It won't be the only ship that does what it does in the in the in the distant future, but it will definitely remain the best ship for for. Yeah, quantum interdiction and quantum enforcement, preventing people from jumping out and preventing people from going, you know, and pulling people out of quantum. Mm. Um, if that is your ship, if that is your style, then that's great. But don't expect to be doing anything else other than that. It's incredibly niche for what it's job for what it does, but it, people use it very effectively. Um, is it for one hundred fifty dollars? I mean, yeah, that's the thing you want to do. That's a pro- that's a pro- it's a, it, yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's a, it's a profession starter. It's yep. it's. But it's a weird profession starter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for me, it's a, an earning game because there are just other professions that are a bit more flushed out and a bit more, you get more value for your money. we got the Vulture coming along mm. that'll probably be roughly 160 when it's out. You've got already got the Prospector. Um, it's just too niche. And I remember, I still haven't really tested it since the time you and I first did our grid and it just didn't work properly. Um, does it yeah. work now, Paul? Like you, you stream and stuff. Yeah. Does it work? It, it works. I've I've seen people use it for what it's designed to do. It works. It, it definitely does its job. It works properly. It's just, it requires skill. It requires patience and skill, and you definitely need assistance. You can't really do it on your own. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right. But it does It does have a really cool um, oh, it viewpoint, great. though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the cockpit view is probably the best of all the RSI ships so far. Now, if we don't oh, oh, uh, pile shit on this next one, Badgers is never going to forgive us. Uh, no. <laughs> Badgers, this is Badgers' favorite ship. Um, again, I my biggest problem with this ship is just its price. I think it's a great ship. Um, and Badgers has done a lot to sway me on that. I just think it's just still way too expensive for what it is, considering for an extra $75, you can get a Polaris that's double the size. Um, yeah, but here's a difference. 
I, and, I'll, and I'll argue, I'll, I'll make the case for the Polaris. The Polaris is uh, three people. I'm sorry, Polaris is uh, not the argument, but the argument for the Perseus. The Perseus is three people. The four. Polaris is like seven. It's four for the you Perseus, can, but yeah. Minimum three. Okay. Minimum three, because, four. So three because to four pilot, people. Because the yeah. pilot can use the torpedoes and then there's those two, the two turrets. Uh, and then the the actual like other like anti fighter slash torpedo turret is actually automated. It comes straight out of the box automated. Mm. So you do need someone running around though reloading the boxes. That's what the fourth yeah, person is. So They're often. going from turret. They play engineer and go from turret to turret reloading. So yeah. But if if you if if you you and your mates you and two mates want to go out and just 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 mess stuff up. This is a ship. This is like yep. that's perfect for that kind of like that sweet spot of just three or four people yep. going out, yep. doing some stuff. It's not huge. It won't break the bank for doing stuff. So if you want to do missions with it, it works. It's like mm -hmm. it, it works for what its job is. A Polaris is one of those ships where, yeah, it's valuable, but like it's going to require more planning and preparation. So the price tag you're seeing is much more of a convenience tag where, yeah, it's more it's it's. It's more expensive than you would you'd like it to be, yep. but it's still cheaper than say even a hammerhead. So right here, so, I'm going to use you against yourself and Algrid. Okay. I want you to give me Paul's law argument as to why the ship that's possibly coming, the Anvil one, is actually better mm -hmm. than this. Do you know well, what I'm talking about? Very, sim very simply, because this is a Tavarum War vintage ship that's been up modelled. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I can almost guarantee you, though, that 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 ship is also going to cost more money. I oh, yeah, I reckon. I reckon that'll be yeah. uh, seven twenty five, like the Hammerhead and uh, yeah. the Nautilus. Yeah. I I always get that. My take on the Perseus, it is a great ship. I liked it from a, I like the aesthetic of it. I like the, the 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 idea of its purpose. But when you read the law and and other things, it was a ship that was made for in system defence. It wasn't made for the jumping through the jump points and being. You know, being the making the bridgehead, it was mm. the, it was you're attacking us. We've got a cheap, easy to build, heavily armored, tanky little inshore squadron ship. And so, what you're saying is, it's that, more defensive than offensive. It's a patrol boat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not meant for going across wide oceans. It's it's the patrol boat for the local system defence. Mm. Um, whereas but Polaris would be a flagship of that fleet. So, well, tell us yeah. about the Polaris <laughs> Aragorn. Okay. Uh, Oh, unless you want, a, at least, hang on. Did you want to say something, Paul? You said yeah, it seemed like you. Oh, uh, I was just to say. I, I, I was going to say with the Perseus was that like the argument is is that you're more likely going to find missions to just go into a local system and fight something than you are going to find a mission to go into a different system and do extensive combat. So mm -hmm. like you're the the Perseus is going to be more of your daily driver, your m daily kind of group work than your Polaris will, because it'll yep. be a lot more expensive to pull out the Polaris. Yep. That's the other thing. So, mm. and Polaris is and, 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 and easy to get missiles, torpedoes. Yeah, mm. yeah, because yeah. it's better on forever. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, but, Polaris, Algrid. Um, has big pew pew cannon. Has lots of pew pew missiles. Um, have a hangar. It's downside. It's a, it is the smallest capital ship, being a corvette, mm -hmm. uh, specifically built in law to to meet with the needs of the uh, citizen defence, the CDF, the Citizen Defence Force, or the or the um, and you know RSI approached people like the Bremen Defence Force to see what they needed. Um, so it is the smallest capital ship. It has medium, uh, a fair size crew. It has a hang, a size one hangar. We now know. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a I, great I, ship. I think that that hangar really gives it um, the support capability, so you can cycle mm. fighters through it to refuel and rearm. Um, and and I, I think it will be escorting a lot of fighters. That's the thing I get. Like the ironic thing was they had the Perseus with two um, arrows in a pack Sizing. that they sold. I just don't mm. see that necessarily being the case because uh, and it maybe it leads into what you're saying uh, paul about or algorithm how it was sorry it's more defensive because it can't really go far because it just doesn't have that range because it needs fighters with it so it's kind of a bit landlocked to where fighters can go where something like the polaris can take the fighters with it and refuel them as it as it keeps going um so it's probably going to be able to go further than the perseus um yes i do agree it needs more people but then giving, uh, being a capital ship and being the smallest capital ship, it's still probably going to be the most popular capital ship in the game because of that. And yes, 
It does have those really expensive torpedoes, but they're also a very big deterrent. If I'm pointing the bigger mm. gun at you and you... You're, you're going to question whether I'm going to fire it or not, you know, and, and if I have to fire it, I've got 28 of them to fire, you know. Yes, they do cost the price of an Avenger each, but, you know, 28 torpedoes, you're going to really question whether I, you're, I, you're someone with I should stuff around with. And I, I think a lot of the time um, you're not going to want to stuff around with them. Like and, and like you said before about the Hurricane and the Scorpius, this thing punches up. You know, it, it's mm -hmm. the smallest capital, but it can kill a capital, you know, so... Um, it's rather scary in my book and i you know it's the biggest ship i own i'll just put it put it right right, right now mm -hmm. that's it's the biggest one i own so yeah and, and for development point of view this this I, I think this is really kind of fitting that mold of what cig envisaged the idris originally was yeah in terms of being a corvette so that's a really good call um, actually i agree that 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 because that is originally what the Idris was, wasn't it? It was a Corvette, and they changed it to a frigate. So yeah, I do think this—that's exactly what this is. Our grid. It's the replacement for the Idris, so to speak, before it moved up. All right, Paul, tell me about Scorpius, and I'm not talking about Osiris. I'm talking about the ship. Um, Good, already talked about it um, in terms of before. It's it's it's. Uh -huh. I, I, well, you just skip it because we just talked about it already. It's all right. Fine. It's not, Mossy boots. Fine. Yeah. Tell me about the Osiris. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't buy it. <laughs> yeah, it's a vehicle. There, don't buy go. it. <laughs> it's a vehicle. Um, I mean, even even then, like, what's the Ursus? It can fit in a in a in a Connie. It's about mm. its own. It's it's only good factor. The the the, the Spartan's better. It has better guns. It's, it holds more people. Um, the Ursus is just the Ursus. I think the only thing I would add, and Algar would probably agree with this, is that the Andromedas come with one of these. Yes. And, and the uh, Carrot comes no. with one of these. The Aquila comes with one, and currently the uh, Phoenix comes with one, although it'll be links. But the Carrick also comes with one. Yeah, I did say Carrick, but you are right. It wasn't all of them. It's just, yeah, it's just the Aquila. I was wrong. Yeah. Oh all right. Origin Jump Works. Again, finally following their, their lore. Um, only three ships from Origin today. So all the A versions, 125, 325, and G12A. I'm going to start backwards. This is a vehicle, so we're going to skip it. Don't get it. They're terrible at that price point. 325A. They're not bad. I say they're not bad to get, but get them in game. Get them in game. Just, yeah, like, get them in not, game. Just don't, buy just, them, note, just don't buy them for dollars. Buy them for And credits. also just note the, uh, sorry, the G12A is $65 a year, so it's 50 like. Yeah. Yeah. I just Crazy. don't, I don't think get it with a G12. It's just. No. It's the origin tax, mate. The, the luxury yeah. tax. That's it. All right. Uh, 325A. Our grid, you're probably going to be probably the person to sell this most to people. So you, you go ahead and sell it. If you want to sell it. It's a fighter. Yep. Don't get it. All right, it, there we it go. It breaks the mold of origin. It's a fighter. Yeah. And I think it gets even worse when you get to the 125A because because the 325A exists, if you were going to get one, you'd get the 325A and not mm -hmm. the 125A. So yeah. um, they're all a skip for me because they're just at that price point that they're just not worth it. Uh, you, there's much better options that will give you more bang for buck, unfortunately. All right, on to Consolidated Outland. And there's so many ships from Consolidated Outland today. <laughs> there's one. Mustang Delta. Uh, again, I think this falls into the same bracket. Uh, once you get to $65, there are better ships for $65. I think the 315P is one of them with the tractor beam. Um, you've mm. already gone past the Avenger, which is also better than this. That's $55. You know, um, yeah, just there's so much better ships for that. Again, if you're really into combat, even then, I think the Arrow is only, what, $10 more away. Um, yeah. So so that's just yeah. a better buy as well. So all oh, $5 away. I think it's, is it 70 or 75 Let's damn forget the Arrow. But yeah, it's it's in that ballpark. So yeah, there, there are better better ships at that price point. So yeah. Is there anything you guys want to add? Uh, it's a good game to get a good ship to get in game yes. for just what it, it's, it's unique, uh, unique uh, combat abilities. But mm. um for sixty-five dollars, they ain't worth it. It's yeah. just not worth it. All right, um, Argo. No one's going to want to talk about these Argo. Uh, shut up! Off. Shut <laughs> up! Oh, I'm going to hurt you. Oh, um, go into the in, 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 get under the house. Yeah, under the yeah. house. Yeah. So, Paul, well, this... um, we'll do the SRV first because I know you want to talk okay. about the MPUV. So, so we'll, yeah. can we let Argo do the SRV? All right, Argo, go SRV. All right, SRV. Original uh, design of this a recovery vehicle was as an offshoot from a, a uh, Crucible. Mm -hmm. uh, this really picks up the tow truck idea. You send it, why is it in uh, Invictus Week? Because it, it's a vehicle you'd send in to pull back damaged fighters or, or other ships to for repair. So it is literally your 
military recovery vehicles. So that's why it's there. It has other purposes as well and can be used, but yeah, that's the SRV. I, I still, I can hear Badger saying that they're going to use this to recover tanks. Like, I, I, I really think that will be a thing too, like plucking tanks out of the, the, the battlefield and bringing them back to get, to get repaired. All right. I agree. Paul, which one do you want to talk about first? Or are they just both in the same thing? MPU. They're both kind of v, the same thing. MPU the, v the first. What's your uh, favorite so, one? Which one do I put it on? Uh, the C. The C. The C. Uh, the C. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I've always made this 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 uh, the, the the case for this. Now, should you per purchase it for thirty five dollars? Yes and no. Mm. Yes, because it's a good ship to have for thirty five dollars that you can you know use for a lot of different things but you can also just get it in game because they're going to be completely common as dirt <laughs> um i yeah. love our 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 orange king long may he reign for for oh, as oh, best king. in show mm -hmm. the 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 uh the the humble little little orange uh monarch who reigns over us over our time of great triumph um and again uh Good things have happened since mm -hmm. since since this, since this has become the the best in show. That's all I'm gonna say, uh, and I take 100 responsibility for that, <laughs> even though it wasn't me, just me. Um, I will uh, actually add up in the cards <laughs> up there. We did a ship scrutiny on this. That's how far we went with this. So yes. we actually went through everything on this, and it is a very um, multi-tool type of ship. It really does do a lot, and it really does. It is the I would almost go as far to say one of the ultimate support crafts. But for the ship mm -hmm. that it is on, it it it, it is the butler it does anything everything you ask. yeah and and that versatility is in the name multi-purpose utility vehicle um mm. yeah because yeah, that, very... that sums it up right well we were, we were also talking before the show paul and we were we were going so what are we going to put up for the vote this year so i suggested to paul the 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 gray cat ptv and what would you say paul i said yes the green ptv for sure yeah. Like we need to like uh, the problem is it's hard to tell this year because maybe CIG will change it and actually give us the option to to put up smaller ships in their own category rather than just doing what they usually do, mm. which is just throw all the ships together in a way that they know that they can make these big ships. They can sell lots of lots of models for. Um, I think that was a part of know. it, though, wasn't it? Last year it was it was trying to show them that they were they were stuffing it up. They were, they were really yeah. doing the vote wrong and they were not doing it properly. And I do hope that they change it this year and there is i i difference. did hear i did hear that um the marketing guy originally was super pissed yeah that this was happening yeah and then but but, but, I, then I, after, but that means he's learned something doesn't it <laughs> well, well then yeah well then after that he said we've sold so many of those little fuckers like <laughs> like word for word after that and it's like yeah because you can sell more ships because they're cheaper exactly. and if they're cheaper, more people will be able to purchase them instead of yeah. shoving a $200 ship on everyone's face. Yeah. Like yeah. <laughs> microtransactions uh, work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And, and so, so my hope is, is that we will see more categories, more fairly produced where we have small like vehicles, mm. small, medium and large ships, mm. and then they can all duke it out for supremacy. And then, you That's know, a good uh, idea. So we don't have to worry well, we've about got, it. We've got those right. four, four categories, small, medium, large yeah. capital. That, that's literally how they should do it. And, and, and when I say listen to us, I don't mean like content creators, but I actually think they will sell more community. things when they listen yeah. to the community. And, and, and that is a whole. So, you know, hear something from here and there and add it all together and work it out. And once they work that out, like you said, um, they did sell more. So maybe now they're understanding that it's not just about, oh, yeah, we're going to sell X number of this $1,000 ship or whatever. But 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 if you have you hit all those different yeah. price points people will buy what they can and that's a mm -hmm. good thing all right yeah, yeah it's a good thing so if they don't ptv all right we're going for yeah. the for the humble the humble bug that that has saved so many lives in in mines and uh was designed to uh, and is also so ubiquitous it, it is it is everything it is the hard working mm. it is the cousin the ground vehicle cousin of the of the argo mpuv so it has saved our yeah. grid many hours of walking in his hangar as he <laughs> drives from one end to the other and back again uh, 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 back in the olden days it did take me 10 minutes to get down to the end of my hangar if i if i yeah. was i think running mm. so, so yeah yeah, yeah.
it, 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 I, I think it would be a good one to do, and I actually would love to see some skins for it. Again, we haven't had skins for it for, what, at least six years, I think, at this point. Um, and I don't even think those skins yep. work anymore, so... Mm. No. The old skins, you, you, they don't apply, so... So, you know, please fix it. And we might even get them to release what looks like to be a Cyclone competitor from Grey Cat. If you look at the vote image, where you had the Spartan, mm. the Mule, there's also one there that looks like it's from Grey Cat, which is like a, a Cyclone competitor, so... Maybe that might come if we uh, we push a bit. All right. Um, last but not least, we've got some paints. Um, they were mainly for the Scorpius, but uh, there's just this three pack here. Mm -hmm. I wasn't really taken with any of them. Um, do they appeal to you guys at all, or not? I'm thinking not. But... Eh, I don't mind the I don't mind the Nerf looking one. The Nerf gun. The, the green yeah, the one. Nerf gun. That's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to be honest, I probably prefer the Conscious Scorpius one, which was just black with an, uh, an orange scorpion on it. Um, but mm -hmm. yeah. So that's it for RSI. Uh, uh, and I, I think the next Origin, camp off the rack... Consolidated out and, and Argo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't, don't forget we got that giveaway for the Scorpius. Uh, the most highest upvoted comment on this video and uh, we'll get, get you a Scorpius. Also remember, we've still got the Legionnaire one, so you can go uh, just... You've got to be a subscriber and leave a comment. It's the same thing on this one. Highest voted subscriber comment uh, will win a Scorpius. Uh, Agred, I'll let you do the sign out because I'm... Actually, no, Paul's here. Paul, you're good at promoting people. Promote! Is that myself? The channel. Yeah, you're uh, really good at it. You're way better than I am. <laughs> thank you for watching make sure that you like the video if you enjoyed this we want to hear your thoughts down below as always because we want to keep that conversation going do you like these ships do you not like these ships let us know do you think that we're wrong do you think that i'm right that the mpuv is the best ship in the game because of course i'm right so you may make sure you say that down below so we just are always right paul you know that yeah yeah, yeah. lorstradamus um man i want to be uh, in your uh, class one day paul would just sit at the back <laughs> 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 oh gosh what else is there um oh yeah uh, subscribe for more content like this we do this we're doing this every day or every day of the sale so every new sale we we're rolling these videos out so if you mm. want to know right away our thoughts make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the little bell icon because that'll tell you right away when these videos are uploaded um she what else uh, and if you want to go the extra mile if you really like the content that we do you can support us on patreon patreon.com slash info runners for more uh content you've different we're different levels and all kind of stuff and you can actually get access to our us personally there's people who are listening to us record this right now who are yeah. patreons so you know really quickly um i do have the advanced ccu guide coming out tomorrow as well so look forward to that if you want to learn how to do ccu chaining all right other than that yeah. he's been astropub he's been our grid i've been executed and we'll catch you in the next one